welcome. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make only owner spawn items. It can be used for other commands so this will be a quick tutorial. Before we get started if you could like, subscribe, comment if this has helped you that would be much appreciated. Anyway now to get on with this tutorial the first thing we need to do is open up the commands dialog. Uh, sorry not commands dialog the commands java file. So we need to go to com.feather.game. Player.content and double click on the commands.java file. Now that we're in there, we need to search, so control F, and we need to search for case item. There will be two lots of case item. So we're going to skip to the next part, which is this one here. We want to highlight every single bit until the return true, just uh, sorry, above this player's case, and we want to delete that. Okay? Now, going to clear it up so there's only one space between it control s to save we want to also search for case item again so case item will take us up to the top one after this two we need to do and n and we need to do player dot get rights equals to two okay now that will say inside here the cmb length two and that it will only work and try this if the player has the rights of two okay so to prove that that is working, which it should be, we're going to load in and we're going to go on to a non-moderator or non-owner or non-admin account. So I made one earlier, which was 321 for the username and 321 for the password, just for testing purposes. And we should be able to try spawn an item, so like item one no item spawns so that shows it item 101 nothing's going to spawn okay so what we're going to do is we're going to log out to make sure it works for admin we're going to go onto our admin account and now that we're in on an admin account we're just going to spawn an item so say we spawn item 3 and there we go so it gave us a book so that's showing that it only works if you have the rights of owner Anyways, hopefully that tutorial had helped you and I would love to see you in the next tutorial. Cheers.